guys, it's Elsie, unless you have a name correctly, then it's Elise. Actually, I'm gonna bring this down. Hang on. Un momento, por favor. Um. Does that work? Is that is that good? Okay. So today I wanted to do something a little bit differently. Um, I had this idea, sort of, um, also I'm eating because I'm really shaky. I don't really know why. I'm guessing it's because today in chemistry we were, we were, oh my god. Okay, that's fantastic. I'm guessing it's because today in chemistry we were working with the Bunsen burners, so everybody had their gas on, and I'm really, really lightheaded, which scares me. A lot. It's never good to be working with gas and then get lightheaded. That's that's just that's just the opposite of what you want to do. Um So yeah. So I have this idea to do a choir kid issues slash like oh god, I'm spitting. Slash like soprano issues because I'm I'm a choir kid but I'm primarily I mean obviously. But I'm more specifically a soprano. Um. So. Yeah. Let's get started. Number one. Choir kid issue. Number one. It's called. Choir kid syndrome. C. K. S. It's when. There's a song on. And you have to sing it. No matter what you're doing, you have to sing it. You just, you can't not sing it. Um, and when people are talking to you during a song that you really particularly like, you you have to, like, answer with, like, 0.2 millisecond answers and then go back to singing. Like, dude, I'm, you can't talk to me right now. I don't know if that's every choir kid's issue, but I have that issue where if there's a song, I have to sing it. I just, I do. Um... I've been getting better because I've been, you know, like, just listening to music in my headphones during school, and I can't really sing then, but, um, it used to, like, really, really bug me when I really liked a song and I couldn't sing along with it. Um, uh, yeah. Um, choir kid problem numero dos. When people don't think, um, when everybody just sort of assumes that, um, or I don't know, Maybe this is just a me problem, but, um, when everybody else just sort of assumes that you know how to read music, but then you don't, and then your teacher's just sort of like, all right, you know, so we're gonna do this, this, and this, you know, and then I'm like, um, yeah, I don't know the notes for this part and stuff, and the girl's next to me like, it's a G flat, and I'm over here like, what is that? I don't, I, I know that that's high. I don't know what that means, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, that used to happen to me, like, a lot last year, and it was really, really annoying, because it's like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna need that played to me. Um, another one, num numero tres, numero tres. Oh, God, that's a terrible accent. Oh, I can't, I'm sorry. That bothers me. <laughs> it bothers me when I do it, too. Um would be when you are paying attention or when that, when that, like, because when I, I was, like, a sophomore last year, obviously, because I'm a junior now, but, um, this girl next to me, and she was a great singer, when she applied herself, she acted like she was, like, too cool for the class sort of thing, you know, like, she was always on her phone, like, never paying attention, but she always knew the music, and I'm like, dude, how do you do this? But it always annoyed me, you know, because she's always on her phone. She wasn't paying attention, and I just kept willing my teacher to, like, look over at her and just take her phone. Because I'm a terrible person. <laughs> like, I'm one of those kids that, um, you know, like, wants other kids' phones to be taken away from them when they're on them during class, if they're not supposed to be on them. Because I'm a bad person, but I just think that it teaches them a lesson and that they should probably respect the rules a little bit better, but... I don't know, but whatever. But, yeah. When there's, like, upperclassmen around you, sorry, that was just sort of, like, the background, but when there's, like, upperclassmen around you, and you're trying really, really, really hard, and they can just do it, like, no problem, you know, and they're sitting here, like, I hate this class so much. Like, if you don't like this class, then don't take it. 
choir is an elective for that. Oh, I just spit everywhere. Oh my god. Choir is an elective for that reason. If you don't want to take it, don't take it. Alright, the next one is a super special only soprano part. Problem. When it's written in the music that you have to hit like a G sharp at mezzo piano. I'm sorry, can you relay that back to me again? I have to do what, how softly? I don't know how you think, and then, oh yeah, and then your teacher keeps yelling at your section because you're not quiet enough. Um, yeah, you try getting like, okay, let's see if I can do this. <clears throat> I can do this, here we go, okay, I'm gonna get to a G, because I mean, I can do it, but I can't do it just, like, immediately. I don't even know if that was a G, but that was, like, really high. When your teacher expects you to be that high, at, like, this level right here, yeah, I can't do that, it kind of sounds like this. Unless you would like me to make that noise, which sounds like a dragon who's out of fire. <laughs> then I would suggest you not. Like, oh man, I hate that one so much. Um, Choir kid, problem number five, I think. Yeah, five. Is when, <laughs> is when you've just had a concert, or you're rehearsing, and the soprano section, because of what I just said, oh my god. Because of what I just said before, and how you have to be louder to get high, or you are- that sounds weird, but you- when trying to hit a high note, you have to be loud, so that you can have enough air and enough pressure to do that. You have to be louder. You cannot get quieter. You just can't. It's inhumanly possible. I don't know, it's probably possible, but I can't do it, and a lot of other people can't do it. When, like, this- when the altos- the altos are always really, really mad at our soprano section, because they're always super quiet, and I'm like, dude, you guys are, like, in your perfect range all the time. Like, yeah, we are too, but we have to be louder to hit those notes. You guys can be louder too, or, like, the basses and the tenors. Like, I get I get the basses problems. They're really, really low, you know, and there's, like, only, like, two guys that can hit the super low notes. You know, that's fine. They can't be really loud to hit those notes. You know, they have to be quieter, and that's okay. But, when the altos and everybody else are coming at us, like, you need to be quieter. You're overpowering all of us. Like, I'm I'm sorry. Oh, God, I keep hitting this. Like, I'm sorry. Here's, here's an idea. Get louder. Oh, my God. I've just changed your mind. Like, or your life, or world, whatever. Like, dude, it's not our fault that we have to try to hit that quietly. I can't do that. I don't know a whole lot of people that can do that. Like, just be louder, and then mute my choir teacher. Oops. Um, my choir teacher will be like, yeah, if you guys can get, like, a little bit softer, you know, I, I don't want, like, overpowering to happen, you know, I don't here like, okay, <laughs> that doesn't work out so well for me. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't do that. And, oh, it bothers me. Because the altos are the worst offenders of the whole, you guys are too loud. Like, um, you try and do that. Like, uh-uh, stop, stop that, stop that. What, what you're doing right now, you need to stop. Because I can do what you do, and it takes you forever to learn your part, but I have to sit here and I have to listen to it, which, um, again, is how I learn music. So honestly, I feel like I would learn it a lot faster if they would just put our parts up, like, on the internet and... I mean, obviously seeing it too, but so that I could, like, go back and, like, listen to it and practice like that because that's how I learn songs. I memorize things. I'm not, you know, like I said before, like, I don't know, I don't know, she, I don't know sheet music. That doesn't make sense. Um, I don't know how to read music, like, at all. Um, and, or, like, another thing, you know, like, when they're, like, count, like, okay, I know what, like, a whole note is, and I know what a quarter note is, you know, like, I know how long those are, like, a whole note is four notes, or four beats, a quarter note is one beat, um, um, uh, 
But, like, the rests and stuff, like, I get that if it's just a rest, then that's just the four beats. But if it's, I can't count, I don't know when it is. Like, I get, I, just, I don't know yet. But, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, and then when they do that, and, yeah, it drives me insane. Ugh. I feel like there was, I was saying something else, but I've forgotten. <laughs> Let me go with the rests. Um, yeah, I don't even know. But yeah, either that or when your throat hurts or when you don't, or no, no, another quiet, okay, okay, I think that this is six, seven, maybe, I don't know, I forgot, I stopped counting. So, choir kid, problem number eight, six, whatever, it's a number, it's past five, I know that at least. When you are doing a song in a different language, primarily German, because Latin is fairly easy, because it, the words sound how they look, or they look how they sound, um, but German, <laughs> we had a German song last year, and we have a German song this year. Last year, it was called, uh, Der Gang zum, Der Gang zum, oh, I'm butchering this so bad, Der Gang zum Liebchen, Liebchen, or yeah, yeah, that's what it was called, and with that one, he did not write it out phonetically. Just like a few parts, he'd be like, this is spelled like this, you know, and he didn't say like, you know, get out and we're gonna go over this phonetically. He didn't do that. So we were like completely screwed and a lot of us were having issues with it. But this time he went over it phonetically and it was good. But yeah, so the next choir kid problem is when you're doing a song in a different language and your choir teacher doesn't tell you how to pronounce the words and just sort of expects you to be like fluent in German. It's so weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also, okay. Choir kid problem. Next one after that would be when you hate that you're not doing English songs or a lot of songs in English because they're harder to learn, but then you go to the concert and you realize that the choir beneath you <laughs> or like, you know, like the lower choir is doing a bunch of songs in English and they all just sound like middle school elementary songs. You know, like, that's just what their choir sounds like, or their, like, concert sounds like, because they're doing a bunch of, you know, like, English songs, which is fine. But, yeah, you know, then you get up to yours, you know, and you're like, oh, ours sound really sophisticated. Um, but, yeah, 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 because we were doing, uh, Ezekiel with, Pimp, Pimp, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, yeah, the neighbor, with my hair on that, oh. The neighbors have moved, like, two of them have, and so, uh, landlord rented them, or, like, bought them, and now they're trying to fix it up, so it's, like, banging all over the place. Ugh. But, yeah. <laughs> Those are my choir kid struggles. If you have any more, um, if you have any, put them in the comments. Um, if you liked this video and you want me to do another one, I can definitely do that once I come up with more issues that I have, because I have a lot of issues. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so... Uh, thank you for watching this if you did. I just wanted to do sort of like a slower, not like a slower video, but like a less strenuous video on my voice because um, I don't know what's been going on lately, but my throat and like after I get home from school, I'm really like shaky and it's just, it's not a good situation. Um, And it makes it really hard to sing songs when my throat hurts and I just, I don't have, you know, like the right, yeah, it just, it's not been good, and I have to, like, eat sugar to get myself back up to where I should be, and, yeah. I might do, like, another, I might do, like, it doesn't, it doesn't just have to be, like, choir kid problems. I might do, like, attention deficit problems, because I have attention deficit disorder. Um, woo! <laughs> um, and then I might do, like, anxiety problems, or, like, anxiety kid problems, or so. I don't know. Do like topics that you want me to do, and if I can relate to them in any way, then I will do them. Because I don't want to, like, you know, do things that I don't have and then, like, tick a bunch of people off. Plus, I don't know what I'm talking about, so I wouldn't do stuff like that. But, but yeah. So, if you liked this, uh, if you want me to do more, tell me down below. Also, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to P. Dodge Powers! He keeps sending people to my channel, and I just want to thank you so much uh, for that. I don't even know if that was on key, whatever. <laughs> um, it's really, really nice of you because I'm pretty much in, like, the shadows and, like, the corner of YouTube because, one, I put out covers. A lot of people don't watch covers. 
they would just, you know, rather watch that actual person sing that song. They don't really care about other people singing that song. Um, and I'm fairly new, and I don't have a lot of subscribers, so I'm pretty much just sort of, like, in the corner, like, under the rug that's under the bed that's under a rock of YouTube. That's where I am. <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so yeah. So thank you to him so much. Alright, I'm gonna go now. Alright, have a great day. Bye! <laughs>